Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Wrath of the Lich King. We are starting off in the Howling Fjord today. I went to Menethil Harbor. I was going to get the boat ride, but apparently now there's just the Dockmaster to talk to. I don't know if the boats still come and go, or if they're completely optional, or what the exact deal is with the boats. But yeah, we talked to the Dockmaster, so we didn't get to sail through the cavernous opening here, which... Uh, you know, it's kind of iconic of Howling Fjord, but that's okay. Let's kick things off here. Pretty excited to get into a new zone today. Hell has frozen over. Four Dragons got another thing coming, if he thinks. The group of Green Guild scubs, scrubs even, he sent to defend this port can hold out much longer. Malkoroy raises an eyebrow as he examines your equipment. You, however, might fare a bit better. The importance of holding this port cannot be stated enough. And with those monsters flying overhead, the situation around here has gone from bad to worse. Report to Voice Admiral Keller just northwest of here and let him know that you are out of bubblegum. Uh, references, references, references. Okay, we have some breadcrumbs over here. Need help? The dwarf speaks the truth. We can't afford to lose this port. It's one of the two safe harbors that the Alliance has on this chunk of frozen hell. The other being a few hundred miles west of here on the coast of the Borean Tundra. If Velgard falls, our primary supply line into Northrend will cease to exist. From there, it will only be a matter of time before we're all servants of the Lich King. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got a wife and three kids back in Elwyn, and I'll be damned if I'll go down without a fight. The situation here is critical, and we can use all the manpower you're able to muster. Get to the front gate and help the guards defend the city against the invading monsters. Pretty straightforward. We have a monster invasion. We need to kill them. Uh, do we have the flight point here? Yeah, we, we have the flight point here, so we're good there. It, it marks two enemies on the uh, on the minimap. That's actually hilarious. All right, I guess this is considered the front, so we'll head north right out here. Uh, anything out here that's not already dead should be something we can fight. So this is going to be an interesting zone because here we are going to learn about the Vikral. And I am looking forward to some of that lore. Putting up some buffs would be a good idea. Is it just me, or do these guys have no loot? Uh, because they're, they're definitely not dropping any loot. At least they don't make us go far to get these guys. I, I like that they spawn them in constantly. That probably helped a lot on uh, night one if you went to Howling Fjord. It probably wasn't very hard at least to complete the first quest. Because they're definitely not shy about just throwing a bunch of guys at you. We, we do need to maybe think about healing up a little bit. Could be a good idea. Now, unless we want to be stuck in a state of perpetual combat, we ought to head back into the town here. We can kind of fight this guy as we go. Oh, we can just let him finish him off. That's absolutely fine with me. There we go. I'm glad these guys will fight. They're, they're, not, they're not very effective, are they? Good job, boys. Good job. Greetings. You gave our defenders the extra support they needed. Morale is higher than ever now, thanks to you. If they're able to handle the remaining onslaught on their own, I've got bigger plans for you. We've been here for a month when those malformed giants appeared out of thin air. 
We were ill prepared for any sort of attack and paid dearly for our complacency. An entire archaeology team was lost and several townsfolk were abducted and taken to the ruins. We've been on the defensive ever since. To make matters worse, the scouts we sent to rescue our people have been harpooned by Vykrul and left for dead in the forest directly north of Valgard. Dislodge the harpoons and free our scouts. If somebody gets impaled, you, you want to leave it in until they can get medical attention. I, d I don't think we should just go ripping harpoons out of people and expecting anything but for them to bleed out. But sure, we'll, we'll go do it. It'll be, probably be fine. For the Alliance. Looks like it's going to be out in the same direction. We're going to want to mount up maybe and run past the guys who are spawning constantly. Like, let's angle this way. And just hope we can stay out of combat long enough to cross the river here. Yeah, these guys are spawned in, but they're not going to keep spawning in and running at us. No playable Vikril? N never any playable Vikril? <laughs> It would be nice to see a Classic Plus where we get some additional races to play as. And not just the Goblin and Morgan from Cataclysm. But like Tuskar and Tonka and Vykril. Things like that. Look at these guys are just going to die. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. He's totally fine. He just got impaled to the ground by a spear, but I'm sure you just get up after that. Coming here at level 72, we are going to have a little bit of an advantage against most of the enemies, which are going to be level 68, 69. So that's going to be nice. Well met. What the Vikril did to our scouts was a gruesome display of savagery. It was a scare tactic meant to weaken our resolve, to send us running in fear of our lives. It failed. We are going to show those monsters what it means to wage war against the Alliance. Uh, we will take... Something. We'll take something. Let's take maybe a one-handed sword to level up our... We have a one-handed mace. A one-handed axe. Let's grab the one-handed sword. We can try to keep all of our weapon skills relatively decent. This battle is far from over. If our people are still alive inside that village, someone has to go get them. Vice Admiral Keller nods at you. Head north and enter Wormskull Village. Once there, look for our people. If they are imprisoned, you'll need to find a way to break them out. Maybe they'll have some more information about what it is we're actually fighting. Be careful. Ah, uh, we have some other quests here now that have opened up. What's on your mind? Ah, uh, the Human League. We were on the brink of an archaeological breakthrough when those monsters attacked. Sadly, I was the only one to make it back to Valgard. Now I don't know if my crew is dead or alive, but the artifacts we uncovered on the dig must be found. If you're heading up into Wormskull Village, will you keep an eye out for my team? If there's any hope of recovering that information, we must pursue it. See you soon. Each day is a blessing. Into the world of spirits. While the Explorers League may discern bits and pieces of the past through their archaeological findings, and the Vice Admiral might extract some knowledge of the present from brute force, the truth lies with the spirits. With the proper reagents, I am able to see into the spirit world. If there, if there, are, it is there that the past, present, and future of Nor it is there that Robert learns to speak in the past, present, and future of Northrend. 
If you wish to learn more, I will require the, my reagent pouch. It was lost in a ship that is now at the bottom of Dagger Cat Bay, just east of here. Kind to those less fortunate. Okay, sure. What can I do for you? The path to payback. Two weeks ago, our chief engineer got his hands on a Vikral harpoon gun. The same type of gun that the Vikral used to take down our ships. By studying that gun, he managed to put together a comprehensive operation manual. Unfortunately, he was abducted and taken north of here to Wormskull Village. We eventually did find him, but near death and without his manual. His dying words indicated that the manual was lost in the Utgard Catacombs located northwest uh, of Wormskull. For the Alliance. Get me that manual. Okay, so... Yeah, we're heading out in like the same direction, basically. There's only really one way out of here, it seems. So everything we do is going to take us right out here. We could go diving and do the water stuff first. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too opposed to that. Jeez, look at the view. Oh man. Absolutely a gorgeous zone. Can I get up here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, there we go. There's the reagent pouch right there. And here is a quest. Are we going to have time to read it before we drowned? Hey there. Uh, what's up? What are you doing down here? Me? Oh, well, you see, I'm, um, I'm trying to clean this place up. Orders from Keller himself. He says to me, Harry, I want you to put on a diving bell and search the shipwrecks of the dagger cap for our stuff. Say, maybe you could lend me a hand while you're down here. Safe travel. Maybe you could give us a breathing apparatus. Well, that would be freaking sweet. What is this? Oh, look at that. There we go. Now we have a, a lifeline to some oxygen. And we can, uh, we can breathe a little bit. And now we are looking for some belongings. Valgard supply crates. No idea where these are going to be. Um, maybe they're going to be on the ships. Apparently this line can, can reach anywhere. Uh, but regardless of that, there, there's nothing down here. Okay, so there is one floating over here. Maybe they're all going to be outside? It made it seem like maybe they would be in the cargo holds of the ships. But maybe that's not the case. One out of ten found. That looks like an aggressive hammerhead. Yeah, two aggressive hammerheads. Okay.
If they leave us alone, we'll leave them alone. Try not to kill any hammerheads unnecessarily. And there we go, that's 10 out of 10. Good day to you. I'll need to document them and take inventory and some other stuff that you haven't been trained to deal with or understand. Don't worry, I'll be sure to let Keller know what a great job he did down here. Yep, yeah, you can leave now. Skedaddle. I don't know what this guy's deal is. Is this guy like a scavenger? He's, he's like not legitimate? Did we just help out like a, a pirate basically? Or is he? Or do you think he's actually here under Keller's orders? He seemed a little bit sketchy, but he also just seemed like maybe someone who didn't want to deal with us, but was willing to let us help him. So it, it's kind of hard to say. I'm hoping that takes care of the water stuff for a while. We can spend our time mainly on the dry land. That would be ideal. May the light embrace you. It's a bit worse for wear, but still functional. Theralius reaches into the pouch and removes some odd-looking roots. Now to place them on the fire and inhale. Oh, I, I see what we're doing here. That's why this guy is just over here chilling out while everyone else is all stressed. Theralius throws the roots into the smoldering incense burner. Theralius inhales deeply. His body begins to quiver. That's that's normal. It's quiver, a little bit of quivering. What? It cannot be. It, I cannot. The spirit world has fallen under the sway of the Lich King. Fearsome creatures made of pure nightmare now stand watch over the realm of the elements. I sense that these Valkyr are guarding a terrible secret. I am too old and weak to survive another journey. You must go in my place. You're old and weak? You look... you look big and buff. It's fine. Take this incense burner to Wormskull Village and use it to enter the spirit world. Find the large dwelling in the northeast. Avoid the Valkyr at all costs, lest they make you a permanent fixture in their world. Dionys Haka. Okay, getting interesting. And now we're heading out to the north to do basically everything. Everything. For the quest turn in, I'm thinking what? It's gonna be inside the building, maybe? May the light embrace you. Well, we found him, but he's dead. You found Polroy a bit too late, it seems. While looking over the corpse, you see a journal clenched tightly in Polroy's death grip. Upon examining the journal, you read what appears to be the scribblings of a dying dwarf. See, whomever finds this journal, these bloodthirsty monsters have taken up residence in the ruins of Wormskull. What they want or why they're here is a mystery. In any case, the artifacts are not safe with those beastmen around. Zed and I made a new discovery while hiding out, a cipher to decode the tablets. Unfortunately, Zed and I were separated last night. He had the cipher. Tablets were with Glorenfeld and Dagarn. Location unknown. Find Zed. All right. We will look. It says that there's a quest below the ground. And um, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Let's have a look back here.
Yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> it, it literally says there's a quest under the ground. Errors. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out eventually. Maybe we won't. I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one. So we need cage keys. We need to free prisoners. This place is weirdly quiet. It's weirdly quiet. We don't have any cage keys. There's one. Oh, they're going to hang out with us? Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. We get a little priest to follow us around. All right. That's neat. I like it. Uh, what is this over here? Secrets of the Worm Skull. I don't think we want to do that one yet. I think we have to use the, uh, the spirit world thing. I want to complete the quest to free people first. We did get another cage key. Uh, we would have to find somebody actually in a cage. Here we go, we can get a warrior. So we got a warrior and a priest. Perfect. And there is the third cage key. Lots of empty cages. Here we go. We need a mage for this group. A mage, a warrior, a priest, and a paladin. Pretty good. Yeah, we can have all three of them too. So, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, this quest... I mean, sometimes it tells us it's below us. Sometimes it says that it's not. I, I don't really know exactly what's going on with it. Anyway, let's head over here and uh, look for Zed. He's pr it says he's probably dead, which, which probably means that he's alive in this case. We're still getting cage keys, so if we want to get more followers, if these guys leave, we can get, grab some more. Okay, he, he, is, he is dead. He found Zed. You're no doctor, but the prognosis for Zed is most assuredly negative. It looks like they were preparing to feed him to the wargs. There's no sign of the cipher on Zed. After some careful searching of the area, you discover some wilt writing in the dirt. Glor and Day inside Catacomb have cipher and tablets. Perhaps you should head into the catacombs located just north of here and search for Glorenfeld and Dagarn. The bridge crossing the warg pit will lead you right into the tunnel leading down into the catacombs. Okay. The bridge crossing the warg pit. Oh. Oh, I see. Thanks for the opportunity. I'm gonna go... Okay, so yeah, they stay with us for a little while. And then they bail, which is rightfully so. I, I wouldn't want them to, like, get freed and then die in our service. It's funny that we have to go up to get down into the catacombs. I'm just gonna say, I probably never would have figured that out had the, had the quest not told us to literally cross the bridge. I would have spent my time on the ground level looking for a way into the catacomb. I would not have thought to come up to go down.
All right, here's Glorenfeld. About bloody time, Proroy and Zed are dead. And Dagarn. Glorenfeld shakes his head. Taken by the Dragonflayer chieftain into the depths of these catacombs, I overheard that the oversized mongrels mentioned something about sacrifice to the Dread King. The cipher is hidden away in Dagarn's grimy beard. What? Dwarves hide things in their beards all the time. They're keeping Dagarn locked up in a cage at the large fighting ring nearby. From what I've gathered, the Dragon Flayers bring out their prisoners to battle against their most powerful gladiators. They dump the losers in the basements, where the Scourge Necromancers turn them into ghoulies. It's horrifying. But first things first, the tablets are strewn about all across the dungeon. Let's get those recovered before you go off trying to be a hero. So, are they actually in the dungeon, or are they outside of the dungeon? Because that's going to make a difference. Um, yeah, we don't want to go down there. This place is uh, pretty intense, actually. It is like a little, a little dungeon. Um, hmm. It says that there are items. Actually, being able to visualize one would be great. Here we go. So they do exist. It seems like there's other stuff to do down here too. Maybe we'll be sent back to fight some of these guys. Yeah, I'll say there don't seem to be a lot of them per square foot. And we do need 10. Here we go. Maybe we were waiting on respawns. Could be. Yeah, I don't have any of my personal blessings out. I need to use another action bar, probably. I'd like to be able to give people buffs, but we can't give people greater buffs unless they're in our group, and I only have the greater buffs out on my bar right now because I don't have a lot of room on my bar for things. Um, we could do that. That would give us a little bit of room. Could do might. Kings. And wisdom. There we go. So there is a quest back here to grab. Kind of hoping it's not an escort quest. And the harpoon operation manual. We need that. Recover the sacred artifacts. I'm an envoy of the Argent Crusade, charged with a sacred duty. Our forces were decimated in the plague lands. By the light of dawn, the artifact was cleansed and made pure once more. So many perished in the wake of its redemption. 
there is still a chance, still time. The artifact was hurled into the den of the fallen far below us, guarded by the unmerciful dead. Eris' body glows with blinding light. Light will protect you. Oh, he's... He's casting a bubble on us. That's pretty cool. That lasts for 10 minutes. Uh, what does that do? Protected by the shining light, undeath is repelled by your presence. So this will let us go down into the pit of undead and recover the item. However, we still have a couple of tablet fragments to pick up. Let's do that now. This still seems like a bad idea, even though we have this bubble. I, I'm not very comfortable with this, but I, I guess it's working. We are taking damage, aren't we? Are we taking little bits of damage, or is that all the fall damage that I took? Maybe it was the fall damage. Sacred Artifact Retrieves. Okay. You feel compelled to place the sacred blade next to the body of Ares. Upon doing this, you are once again blinded by light. Uh, we can get a one-handed sword. Glory to the light, you have done it. Take the artifact and return to Valgard. Lord Urulan Trueblade awaits its return. Fight with honor, friend. Ares dies. <laughs> Just in parentheses, he dies. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, like we kind of we kind of saw that coming, right? We we weren't thinking the guy was ever going to get up again and walk out of here, and we knew that because it wasn't an escort quest. Made it pretty clear what was going to happen at the end of that one. You've done well. Now that we've secured the tablets, we can try and save Dagarn's life and recover the cipher that was that will help us decode the meaning behind these ancient relics. I'll hold the tablets. You rescue Dagarn. You might have already seen the room where Dagarn was being held while you were gathering the tablets. It's through the corridor and then down a set of steps. Dagarn will be in the room at the bottom of the steps, locked up tight. Get down there and find him. At the very least, you might be able to get the cipher from him. He's like, don't even necessarily save him. Just make sure you get the cipher. It's really all we need. You found me, 
And no, I don't have the cipher. My beard was the first thing those beasts checked. Olaf's the one that's got it now. He's the chieftain of the gladiators. Olaf will come out here if you defeat the other gladiators. That's about the only way we're getting that cipher back. Put on your whomping boots and get busy in the Ring of Judgment. I guess we're getting busy in the Ring of Judgment. I don't know how this is going to all play out with like the other players around us, but we'll just let this play out. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get this completed. And here's Olaf. Olaf. Are the prisoners helping us? Yes, they most certainly are. The ancient cipher falls to the ground. There we go. I think the other player was able to complete it too, even though they didn't tag any of the mobs. So that works. Look at this. See, he said that because we don't actually let this guy out. Why does this guy not get out? We're, everyone else got out. We're going to leave him in the cage. That, that makes zero sense. <laughs> it makes zero sense. Uh, we killed the leader. We would definitely just let this other dwarf out. But we're not doing that, apparently. We are just going to return the cipher and collect our credit for the quest. Fascinating tale. Something is actually judging these things? To what end? For what purpose? Well, never mind that nonsense. Someone else can figure out that stuff. We got the cipher and the tablets back, and only two fatalities in the whole ordeal. Tis a shame we lost two of our best dwarves while uncovering these relics. They sacrificed their lives to keep this information safe. Glorenfeld wraps the cipher and tablets in a tattered cloth. Take these back to Velgard. McSorf will know what to do with the find. As for me, I'll be alright on my own. I've gotten this far in one piece. In other words, he's going to be here forever. He's never going to leave. Which is absolutely fine. We, we could have been really smart and maybe we could have set our hearthstone back there in town. I, I don't know if there is a hearthstone to set, but... Kind of assuming there must be. I can't really zoom in to find out. Now that we've taken care of all that stuff, we can come over this way. We can use this item to find out the secrets of Wormskull. It's going to take us into like some kind of shadow plane or something. Echo of Yimaran. Okay. I'm assuming this is what we have to see. So then we are cursed too.
The gods have forsaken us. We must dispose of it before Yimaran is notified. It's a baby. He's talking about a baby. No, you cannot. I beg of you. It is our child. Is this like the first human-sized baby? Then what do we do? The others cannot find out. Should they learn of this aberration, we will be executed. I will hide it. I will hide it until I find a home for it, far away from here. She gave birth to a tiny baby human and not a giant vicarol. And they want to kill it. Alright, yeah. That's to be expected, I guess. Is that is that it? We we completed it, so I'm assuming I'm assuming we're good here. Oh, they he said to avoid the uh to avoid those guys. We ran right into a Vikral. Or Valkyr. Fun times. Okay, let's mount up. And let's get ourselves back to Valgard. And we will have a look around to see if maybe there isn't in there that we missed. Let's turn in the sacred sword that we found. With you. By the light, many men and women died to recover this blade. Alas, I fear valiant Ares will not be the last. But you do the light's work, hero. This sacred blade will be wielded by Lord Tyrion Forgering himself. Even now, the Argent Crusade works towards Ice Crown. Lord Forgering has vowed that he will tear down the walls of the cursed place himself. And with the blade, he might just stand a chance against the Lich King. Lord Fordring remains our greatest hope. Go with honor, friend. It's going to be nice to actually see some of that story about Fordring. I mean, you don't see a lot of that stuff on the Horde side. Doesn't feel like. Warm wishes to you. I do not understand. The creatures that you saw looked like Vikril that are attacking Valgard. All that we know the Vikril indicates that they only recently appeared in Northrend. Why then are we seeing a Vikral in visions that date back to 15,000 years? 15,000 years, Blizzard? 15... Th I freaking God. I, I kind of... Part of me can't stand, like, the stretch of recorded history in the Blizzard universe, like, 15,000 years ago. I mean, it could just be, like, 5,000 years. That'd be, like, more uh, comprehensible. Anyway, 15,000 years ago. Surely if the Vikral had previously existed in Northrend, we would have known it. You must press on to, to Niflvar. To get there, you must go northeast through Wormskull Village and take the path leading through the dam. Niflvar is on the bluffs of the fjord. Use the incense burner once you arrive at Niflvar and search the area for clues. Be well. 15,000 years. Need help? And we'll give him the manual. Interesting. According to the manual, the Vikril have a special tool that allows them to control the harpoon, gun, harpoon guns with deadly accuracy. It looks a bit like the wheel of one of our ships. Furthermore, it's portable and seems to plug into the harpoon guns like a key. We need to get our hands on one of those. Don't worry, this is all going to lead to something big. Huge. You're just going to have to trust me for now and do as I ask of you. We need to get the mechanism mentioned in the manual for the next step of the plan. I have a strong suspicion that you'll find one of those Vikril that operates the harpoon guns in Wormskull Village. You'll find them on the east side of the village, on the docks, by the longhouses. Light bless you. It's very specific. Talk to the dwarf. You're back. Sorting these tablets out is going to take some time. All I can gather from the precursory study is that whatever used to be here was an ancestor of the humans. Those Vikril probably killed them all off. Anyhow, we'll know more once I get these relics set up. Oh, uh, what do we want? Uh, we could take plate, strength, and stamina. Doesn't seem to be as good as what we have. We'll sell it, though. 
It's all a bunch of cryptic nonsense. Even with this cipher, I can't make heads or tails of any of these tablets. Admittedly, cryptography is not my strong point. You'll need to take the cipher and tablets to cryptographer Stanwad. Stanwad. Let's say it again. Stanwad. Unfortunately, I haven't heard from him in two weeks. He took a team of 20 scientists to the dig sites on the southeastern bluffs of the fjord and hasn't been heard from since. The best I can do is have Mc McGovier... MacGyver? The, na the only way to pronounce it is literally to pronounce it MacGyver. I, I can't pronounce it any other way. I, I, I'm not a big fan of Blizzard's references to pop culture, <laughs> but okay. Talk to MacGyver. He'll give you a lift with his flying machine. Eventually these references are not going to be remembered by anybody who plays the game because they're going to be literally so dated that no one knows what the hell it is. And they're just going to assume that it's like original Blizzard, you know? Off with you. Greetings. The soldier you mentioned rescued... The soldiers you rescued had a good bit of information for us. These monsters call themselves Vikril. The tribe that's taken up residence in Wormskull Village is led by a mystic named Yannis, who himself is an underling of another Vikril, known as Ingvar the Plunderer. While we were able to gather very little information as to the whereabouts of Ingvar, we do know that Yannis resides in a cave next to the Warg Pit inside Wormskull Village. Intelligence gathered from the rescued soldiers indicates that Giannis guards Dragonflayer battle plans. I need you to go back to Wormskull and recover those plans. Kill any Vikral that get in the way, including Giannis. For the Alliance. Is it an actual kill quest? Uh, no. No, we just need the battle plans. As far as an inn... I really can't tell because we're tracking a few different things. Um, this could be an inn? Potentially, maybe, possibly? It is, yep. Hey there. Let's set the hearthstone here. What are you looking for? And let's go ahead and we'll buy some more pungent whey just in case we need it at some point. And we can empty out the inventory. Oh no, look at that. We have been wearing we haven't been wearing any helmet because we had the underwater diving helmet on and we never re-equipped our helm. So there we go. Glad I noticed that before I sold it and ran away from it. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, we really don't have that much junk to sell, honestly. We have a lot of elixirs and stuff that I, I probably need to be using like a lot more frequently. Because we, we keep getting more stuff from these surprise boxes. I don't remember these boxes from the original game at all, the Northrend Adventuring Supplies. Somebody let me know, were these in the original release of the game? Because I just don't remember it at all. Apparently we're getting them from Quest. There we go. Battle elixir, guardian elixir. Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I like them. We just need to make sure that we're actually using the elixirs. All right, let's head up here and once again into the fray, we will get the battle plans. Oh, this is nice. This is like the scenic route. Very cool, look at that. Definitely the scenic route.
Are we gonna like drop down on this area? Is this gonna be safe? It's gonna be safe for us because we can just bubble it. Let's let's jump down here. We'll do a bubble. Uh, that got us into an interesting position. And it actually may have gotten us permanently stuck back here. Oh god, what have I done? Yeah, that's a stuck. That's, uh... Yeah, we're stuck. Oh boy. And yeah, we, we got our hearth out of it. It's a good thing we set our hearthstone, because I set the hearthstone that I immediately got us stuck in the world somehow. We, we've managed to do this a couple of times. That's the first time we've gotten stuck in Northrend. So yeah, fun stuff. We're not going to do it that way again. Nope, we're not. We are not going to do it that way again. We are going to take the land route. We are not going to go up on the bridge. And that's probably going to work out better for us. Um, I, I don't think... Wait, did we need something else in here? I thought all we needed was the battle plans. Hmm. Somebody had invited us to a group, but I don't see anybody else around. Very strange. Okay. So we have that, and then we have to get the the harpoon mechanism. Which is going to be over here to the east. And there we go. It's as easy as that. When you don't get stuck in the world, you can actually get stuff done. Wow. He, he managed to dismount us after all that. We're definitely just going to kill him now. Yeah, you could have lived, man. You could have flew away on your dragon. Had a good time. Instead, you're dead. We will give him the mechanism for the for the launcher. Outstanding, those overgrown apes will soon know what it means to mess with the Alliance. Do you see those Vikral buildings on the bluffs to the northeast? The Vikral call that place Niflvar. Northeast. Okay. It's where most of their harpoon attacks on our frigates originate. Well guess what? The time for payback has come. I need you to take this harpoon control mechanism and meet up with Lieutenant Icehammer who is hiding out in a Vikro building northwest of Niflvar. When you're ready, I'll place you on the back of one of our hippogriffs and zip you right to him. Be careful. Uh, I'm not ready yet. Let's go talk to the Admiral. The Vice Admiral. Well met. 
Vice Admiral Keller glances over the plans. Outstanding. By the looks of things, there are many more Vikral villages in the fjord. A different tribe of Vikral is preparing an assault on Westgard Keep. Hell, for all I know, it may already be too late. We haven't heard from Westgard in days. Either way, we must alert Westgard. Uh, we will take the shield. Vice Admiral Keller rolls up the battle plans. We've got all the information we need to keep Valgard protected. You must take these battle plans to Westgard Keep, located on the Western Fjord Cliff Wall. Speak with the Flightmaster Assistant, Emmeloon Winterwind. She will put you on the back of a griffin headed towards Westgard. Once there, find Captain Adams. He's the one in charge. Adams will know what to do with these plans. Light bless you. Okay, so we have a couple of guys that want to fly us in a couple of different places. Let's do this guy's quest first because the other one seems like it's taking us out of this general area. And this one seems like it's going to be wrapping up some plot threads right around here, so... Yeah, I think we're going over here to meet Lieutenant Icehammer. Secrets of Niflvar uncovered, we still need to do. Westgard is all the way, surprisingly, out to the west. The question is, if we go out to Westgard, are we going to have anything that sends us back over here? Or should we come down here and do the Explorer League stuff first? I have a feeling we should just do the eastern side of the zone first. And then head to the west? Probably a good idea. We probably missed a very scenic flight just now, too, being inside the map and all. How are you? What is this? Do I look like a babysitter? Lieutenant Icehammer takes the harpoon control mechanism from you. Ah, you come bearing gifts. I'm not about to put the fate of this mission into the hands of some untested scrub. They like the word scrub in this expansion. We've seen it twice now. Now, if you want to prove to me that you've got what it takes to carry out this mission, you'll need to do what I tell you. Take this battle standard and head over to Bailheim, directly north of here. Once you're at Bailheim, find the center of the town and drop our flag. Fight off any Vikro dirtbags that attempt to take down our beloved flag and return to me once you've established Alliance Dominance. Safe it's all about the Alliance Dominance. Alright, that's going to be right up here. If this other person has their flag up, I mean, is anybody going to actually attack our flag? Are we working with a timer? What exactly are we dealing with here? So far, nobody has spawned to attack our flag. That's a little bit concerning. It's, it's probably fine, right? I would DPS, but I don't have time. I appreciate it though. Yeah, I have about 15 more minutes. Uh, we, we got completion. We got completion for the quest, so that's great. Let's head back down and get this one turned in. No. 
Great to meet you. Still alive, I see. Clearly you're not trying hard enough. For the Alliance, you're a strong one. Strong enough to crack some Vikral skull at Niflvar. That was a fairly strong showing at Belheim. Before you go off patting yourself on the back, there's work to be done at Niflvar. We've located the Viker responsible for the majority of the harpoon attacks on our frigates. Goes by the name of Yarvis. You'll find him in the main harpoon structure on the bluffs of Niflvar southeast of here. Track him down and execute him for crimes against the Alliance. For the Alliance. See you soon. Alliance, Alliance, Alliance. This guy is right down this way. We also have the secrets of Niflvar uncovered. We need to do another little scene there revealing the past history of the, the of the Vikril. I'm going to get Vikril and Valkyr confused often, so just be prepared for that when it happens. Don't be shocked. It's going to happen. Let's go fight the guy first. Yeah, I'd like to fight the guy first. Uh, where is he going to be? Is he going to be in a building? Is he going to be on the cliffs? It looks like he's probably going to be in this building over here. Yeah, that, that would be his body. I am assuming the dwarf standing here also needs him. Nothing going on down below. Oh, look at the view though. Yikes, that is... Ooh, I just got vertigo. <laughs> that doesn't happen often, but it does sometimes happen in the game. Very, very cool. Some of the scenic shots you can get in this are just amazing. I'm really loving these zones a lot. And here is the Harpoon Master. Just in time. And we probably have enough time to come over here and uncover the next secret. Let's do that. They weaken us. Our strength is diluted by their very existence. Destroy them all. So the mercy, my king. They are the flesh of our blood. The Vikro, your king implores you to listen. The gods have abandoned us. Even now, in our darkest hour, they mock us. Where are the titans in our time of greatest need? Our women birth aberrations, disfigured runts, unable to even stand on their own, weak and ugly, useless. Ymiron has toiled. The long have I sat upon my throne and fought, fought hard over our plight. There is only one answer, one reason. For who but the titans themselves could bestow such a curse? What could have such power? And the answer is nothing, for it is the titans that have cursed us. On this day, all Vikra will shed their old beliefs. We denounce our old gods. All Vikra will pledge their allegiance to Ymiron. Ymiron will protect our noble race. And now my first decree upon all Vikra. All malformed infants born of Vikra mother and father are to be destroyed upon birth. Our blood must remain pure always. Those found in violation of Ymiron's decree will be taken to the jailborn for execution. Well, that's pretty clear. Okay. Guy is a dick. Uh, big surprise. So the Curse of Flesh was an old god thing, right? It was a way that the old gods fought the Titan creations. It, they cursed them with the Curse of Flesh and they became weaker and fleshy over time.
What's on your mind? Now is the perfect time to unleash Zorik's plan. While they're scurrying and regaining control of Nifelvar, you're going to use their own harpoon guns against them. We must strike while the Vikral forces are in disarray. Take the harpoon control mechanism to Nifelvar and locate the northernmost harpoon building on the bluff side of the village. Once there, com commandeer one of the Vikral harpoon guns that are stationed on the building's deck. Use the harpoon gun to rain hell upon Wormskull Village. Destroy the longhouse, dockhouse, storage facility, and any defenders the Vikral may send at you. Keep your feet on the ground. Okay, um, hmm. Do I want to do that now? So where are the harpoon guns exactly? That's that's a good question. Do we need to go back? Um, do we need to fly back down? Or do we just come down here? I think we need to come down here and find that the... Find one of the turrets over in this direction. It's weird when it's a two-pronged quest, but they don't they don't mark both objectives. They just mark one of the objectives. Do we have to yeah, we have to come over here. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna work, right? <laughs> what exactly are we doing? Oh. So this kind of vehicle quest is okay. Did we get all the buildings? Um, I don't think so. It's also hard to know what buildings they're talking about exactly. Yeah, we've only got one of them destroyed. Hmm. Yeah, that's not destroying the building. Longhouse, dockhouse, and storage facility. If these are not those buildings, then where the hell are they? I, I can't say I understand. Let's come over to one of the different turrets. Maybe we have to use a different turret to shoot the different buildings. I have no clue. <laughs> There's no available seat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're not we're not doing it there. Okay, they left. Let's try to control. No, they didn't leave. Someone else is still in there. Ah, <sighs> okay. They tried to make this pretty cool. Instead, it's it's kind of annoying. Out of range. No valid targets. I have no idea what's going on with this quest. No idea. Um, yeah, all I can think is that we can't reach everything from the harpoon we were at. Like, maybe we have to be in this harpoon and this person's in it, so... Well, I guess we can try to jump in there now. There we go. Let's let's aim over this way. That's way. That's our own dock. We just fired on our own docks. That's great. Just fire on our own docks. It's, it's, it's all in, in good fun. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're not, we're not getting credit for destroying the buildings, and all I can think is that these are not the buildings that we're looking for. But what buildings are we looking for? Here's a building way back here, let's shoot at that. Seems like impossible that it would ever get there, but we'll try it. Yeah, that didn't do anything either. Uh, I'm confused about this one. I don't think I'm going to bother with this right now. We are probably going to have to, like, look this up. 
and come back to it at some other point. The buildings are like definitely showing that these are the buildings, right? I mean, yes, we're facing them. I can't imagine it takes multiple shots to, to do this. Yeah, I'm I'm baffled. Guys, I'm I'm gonna take a break here. I have some stuff I gotta do, so I have to get off of here. And uh, yeah, I'll hurt us back at some point to get some rested XP. We're not gonna worry about this right now. I'll try this again later. I'm wondering if it's the harpoon we're in, or if it's just like the quest is literally bugged out, or what it could be. But we'll follow up with this stuff to the east. We'll come back and we'll try this another time. And yeah, that will be the plan. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate all the support on the series. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again in Northrend very soon. Bye for now.